Welcome to today's Kinder Gym lesson with Coach Kerry and Coach E. We're going to do some alphabet activities today. So we're going to go through our ABCs and we're going to do different activities that start with those letters. We're also going to play with some words, aren't we? We're going to see if we can come up with some different words that, come, that start with those letters. So before we get started today, we've got to do our five S's. So first of all, we've got to sanitize. Make sure we have lots of space. Make sure we're being safe doing our gymnastics and being sensible and not doing anything that we're not comfortable with. And also make sure you have a soft surface underneath you like a mat or a towel or a blanket. You can even ask mum, you can use the cushions off the lounge. A. A is for arabesque. So our A activity is an arabesque. We're going to stand with one leg on the floor and one leg kicked out behind us, nice and straight. Now we can use a chair or you can use the wall if you need a little bit of help with your balance. But then when you're comfortable there, you can let go of that chair. Arms up over your ears. You're going to hold for 10 seconds and then change legs. We're going to do the same thing on the other leg as well. Keep your eyes down, don't look up. I want you to look at something on the floor and try and keep your focus down there. While you're holding, you can think of some A words as well. We have A for apple, A for alligator, A for aardvark, <laughs> A for animal. I've got animals on the brain, I think. <laughs> so let's see how many A words you guys can think of as well. After A, we have the letter B. B is for bear, B is for ball, ball, that's a good one. And B is definitely for bunny. B for bunny, definitely. So, while oh, we're starting with our bunny hops. So I want you guys to bunny hop your way all around the room. Hands down, kick your bottom with your feet and try and lift that butt up into the air. Beautiful, so I want you to do as many bunny hops around your room as you can. See if we can do at least 10. And our C activity today is clapping. We're gonna clap our hands. 10 times if we can. We can even clap up high or behind or to one side or to the other side. Or under your legs. legs. Under your legs, that's a really good fun one too. You guys come up with however you want to do your 10 claps. <laughs> And our D activity for today is dancing like a ballerina. We've got to make sure we turn our feet out when we're a ballerina, don't we? Always. And I don't know what these hands are called when you're a ballerina, but I always see them standing like this. They stand up beautiful and tall, nice pointed toes. And then we're going to twirl around. Beautiful. Like a ballerina. On to the letter E. I can think of an E word we use in kinder gym quite a lot, and that is E for egg. We do egg rolls. So we're going to sit in our tuck shape, going to lie down on our back, holding onto those legs nice and tight. We're going to roll all the way over. Our forehead should touch the ground all the way. If we want to, we can roll all the way back as well. Do you think you can come the other way, Miss E? Let's try. E is for Miss E. <laughs> Miss E does an egg roll. Excellent, beautiful. So if you're not comfortable doing it on the floor, you might want to go up to your bedroom and you can do it on your bed or you can do it on the lounge or just pop down a mat with some cushions on the floor. Our activity for F is to find some flowers. So you're going to find some flowers somewhere in your house. Miss E's going to go and look around the gym, see what she can find. Maybe you've got a shirt that's got some flowers on it. Maybe you have some flowers out in the garden. Who knows where you can find some flowers? Oh, look, Miss E found our smelly flowers from our tunnels. So F is for find flowers. For the letter G, I can think of a few doing words. Things like going, give, get. G is a good word for a good letter for doing kind yeah. of words. You also have your other words like gorilla, gate, game, game. So we are going to do one of our doing words. G is for give, one of my favourite words. So we are going to give 
a hug. So you guys can give a hug to somebody in your house, mom or dad, maybe Nan and Pa are there, maybe it's your brothers and sisters. If you don't want to give any of them a hug, you can find your favourite toy and give that guy a hug. Another way you can give a hug is a virtual hug, and we would like to give you a virtual hug. G for give. H. H is another letter that is for a very popular gymnastics word, which is hop. So it's standing on one foot and jumping. So we're going to hop around a chair. Or you can go and hop around a table. You can go and hop around your bed. You can choose anything in your house to go and hop around. Once you've hopped around in one direction, can you hop around in the other direction? And you want to change that leg over. So we're practicing on both of our legs. So H is for hopping. Letter I. Now I is for ice. And ice skating is one of my favourite things to do. And it's one of the favourite activities we do in kinder gym. We don't necessarily have sliders at home, but we definitely have cardboard from all that online shopping that we're all doing at the moment. So we're going to use some cardboard. Make sure you're on a nice slippery surface and we're going to ice skate around the room. Again, if you've got a chair or a table, something like that, maybe you want to go around it, you can go anywhere that you want to go on your ice skates. Can you think of some other I words, Miss E? Hmm, ice cream. <gasps> Love ice cream. Igloo. I know a girl's name that starts with I that we have a lot of at Rec Alley. Isla. Isla. And there's another one. Indiana. Oh, Indy. We definitely have some, some Indianas and Islas at Rec, Rec Alley. So hello to any Indianas and Islas that are watching. For our J activity today, we are going to jiggle like jelly. That's two J words. That is two J words. Are you ready to jiggle like jelly? I'm ready to jiggle. Are you ready to jiggle like jelly? Let's all jiggle. Let's go. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Shake everything. Arms, legs, shoulders, butts. <laughs> Jiggling, 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 jellyfish everywhere. The letter K, our tricky letter K, sometimes is a silent letter. So our K activity is actually a silent letter word. K is for knock. When we knock on a door, it starts with K, but it doesn't sound like it starts with K, does it? So we're going to knock five times. I want you guys to go find every single door in your house and you're going to knock five times on every door. I'm sure mum's going to be thrilled <laughs> while you do that. So we want to knock five times. Some K words that we might know. I can think of one very cute, cuddly koala. Oh, that's a a koala one. starts with K, even though cute and cuddly doesn't. <sighs> Mind blown. <laughs> How confusing is the letter K? For our L activity, we are going to lie down and do a log roll. So we're doing two L words there. We lie down on our back, stretch out nice and long. There's another L word. We lie down, we make ourselves long, and then we log roll. So we're going to try and roll all the way over, keeping our legs together and our arms out nice and straight. And then we're going to roll all the way back again, straight back to where we started, keeping that super, super strong, straight body. Now, if you guys want to use a mat on the floor, Please do. You can log roll along your bed. You can log roll along the cushions on the floor. I think it's quite fun to lie out a, a whole heap of different pillows and log roll along those pillows. It makes it a little bit more challenging. That's how it'll be fun. It's definitely fun. M. Letter M. Now, letter M is for movement, which is a lot of what we're doing today in our activities class. We're doing all sorts of different movements using our bodies. We are going to practice our, one of our, I think it's one of our favourite kinder gym activities. You guys love to do them. Motorbikes. So we're going to land in our motorbikes. We're going to do a jump and land in your motorbike. So remember, we want to bend our knees, keep them hip width apart, arms around in front for our balance, chest up nice and straight. Miss E is going to turn to the front and show you again. Big jump into motorbike and we hold it for one, two, three seconds. I want you guys to do three motorbikes at home, holding for three seconds each time. Our next activity is the letter N. 
So before we do this activity, we're going to sanitise our hands because we're going to be touching our face. So we're going to get that sanitizer. we're going to rub it all over. If you don't have sanitizer at home, just go to the sink and use your soap and water, washing your hands for 20 seconds. One of the most common N-words is nose. We've all got a nose, we know what our nose is. So we're going to close our eyes and see if we can touch our nose 10 times. I want you to put your arms out nice and wide, close your eyes and bring your fingers in. One, two, swapping sides, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we've been touching our face, so we're going to sanitize or wash our hands again. Now some other N words. Needle, oh we don't like that one. <laughs> it's not one of our favourites. Neighbour, the person next to you. Next. That's a good one. I hope, I hope we haven't been, been this N word, naughty. We definitely want to be nice. Lots of N words. Another one that I just thought of and has completely now left my brain. <laughs> it's completely gone. That happens sometimes, doesn't it? You get a thought and you think, that's a brilliant thought, and then next minute, it's gone. And you know what? It just came back into my head. My favourite word at the moment, because it means it's the end of the day, is night. Night time. We like night time in our house. That means it's movie time. For our own activity today, we are going to be doing some opening. So I want you to find a door in your house and I want you to open and close the door. For our P activity today, we are going to be picking some fruit or apples off a tree. Reach up. And we're going to put them in our baskets. Put them down. Reach up as high as you can. Try and go on your oh, tippy toes. Maybe they fell down on the floor and we need to pick them up off of the floor. You can pick as many apples or what else plums. 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 Perfect. Q. Q is our next activity. This is that funny letter that sounds a bit like a K, sometimes like a C. It's very confusing, the letter Q. So Q is for quiet. Something that we need to practice sometimes. <laughs> so we are going to quietly sneak into another room. So we're going to be super quiet like a mouse. We're going to sneak away. And then we're going to sneak back in to the bedroom or the lounge room, wherever you are. <laughs> The letter R. R is for rabbit. R is for running. That's a good one. I think that we should make our next activity R for running. So we want to run as fast as we can. Well, I'm going to spot for 10 seconds. We're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. How fast can you run? 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent job. Get your breath back and grab a drink of water. The letter S is next. S. I can think of a lot of S words. S for squeeze. S for snake. S for straight. Imagine that. We're going to do straight jumps. So we're going to do our straight jumps in a circle. So we can either do them on the spot or we can do them around an object, so maybe a chair, a table. If you've got some toys nearby, you want to jump around. But we want to keep our straight shape, nice long legs, nice straight arms, squeezing our bottom, squeezing our muscles while we jump around our object. Our T activity today is to twirl like a tornado. Now make sure you are in a safe environment to do this and there's no coffee tables around, there's no cups around. Are you ready Miss Kerry to twirl like a tornado? Oh, I think ready. I might do this one too. Are you ready? Let's see if we get really dizzy. Let's go. Let's try not to bang into each other. <laughs> Can we twirl 
both ways. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that makes Coach E very dizzy. <laughs> Our next letter is the letter U. U, not U. Again, confusing. <laughs> U is another one of those funny ones. It doesn't sound like it said U. Under. Ah. It sounds completely different. That's life. That's our language. <laughs> we like the letter U though because it's a very important one in kinder gym for the word that I just said. Under. We love to crawl under. We love to swing under. So Miss E is going to crawl under our wedge which we've decided to use as a makeshift tunnel. You guys probably don't have tunnels at home and that's okay. You can use chairs, you can use a table, maybe your bed, if you don't have all your toys under your bed, you might be able to climb under your bed. How about we set you a challenge of how many things in your house can you find to climb, crawl, under? Our V activity is a V sit. So this is something we often do in kinder gym. Now you guys don't necessarily have a bubble at home, but you can still do it on a cushion or a pillow folded over uh, or a, a few pillows. Something that's going to make it a little bit wobbly for you to make it that little bit harder. Of course, you can always do it just on the floor as well. You don't have to be up on a pillow or a bubble. So our V sit, we want to keep our back nice and straight. We're going to lean back and then we're going to try and lift our legs up nice and straight. Now, if you need to, you're going to put your arms down like Miss E does. It's okay to do that because V sits are really, really hard. This is something that like our levels kids do. So don't worry if you find it really difficult to hold yourself in this shape when you're trying to do it at home. Use your arms to help you balance. You can hold onto the wall if you want, or you can even reach your arms forward if that makes it a little bit easier. And we want to see if you can hold that for 10 seconds. On to the letter W for our alphabet activities. You might know the letter W from Where's Wally? Where? Wally, both start with W. Another really important W word for gymnastics or kinder gym is walk. We do a lot of walking in our lives, so we are going to walk backwards to our bedroom and back to wherever you are right now. So you're going to see if you can walk all the way to your bedroom and back, facing backwards. So we don't want to cheat and look forwards. We don't want to walk forwards. We're going to see if we can walk backwards the whole way. Our next letter in our activity letters today is the letter X. And today we're going to do some X rocks. So we're going to stand in a big X and we're going to rock side to side like a star. So in our star shape. Let's see if you can do that 20 times. Oh my goodness, 20 times. 20 times. <laughs> so this is really good for getting us ready to do cartwheels later on when we get a bit bigger. That's right. The next letter in our alphabet activities is the letter Y. Now, I wonder what we can do that starts with Y. I can think of something. What is it, Miss Kerry? We can yell. Oh no! Oh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to yell. Mums and dads, I've heard you. I've heard you yelling. Are you ready? We're going to yell. I want to go back to my gully! Oh, we're going to yell. It was so loud, Miss Kerry, I can hear it through covering my ears. What are you guys going to yell? Yell at us if you want to. We'd love to see you yelling out to us. Sadly, we're at the end. Our very last letter, our Z or our Z letter. Can you think of some words that start with Z? Seeing as I've been talking about animals all day, straight away I can think of zebra. But sometimes you find in a zoo. That's right. And when you're walking around the zoo on a very hot day, maybe you're going to eat a zippa-dippa. <laughs> the z is a great word. I love saying words that start with z. <laughs> Even if they end in a jazz. It's just a cool kind of yes. word. What, what sound does a bee make? Z Makes you, your tongue tingle when you make that sound. So, our last activity is zigzag 
walking. So there's another Z word where you're going to walk in a zigzag pattern. So stepping out, bring your feet together, step out, step out, and see if you can do that backwards as well. Can you walk zigzag backwards? Oh, that's tricky, Miss Kerry. It's pretty tricky. <laughs> Good job. So we're changing direction when we walk. Thank you so much for joining us for our alphabet activity. We've had lots of fun and we hope you guys have too. If you've enjoyed it, please do it again. We'd love to hear that you guys are doing it two or three times and really learning your alphabet. So goodbye for now. We'll see you next time.